Hey guys, this is Eric Wagner with Wagner Racing. Today's video is about the big block dyno mule. This is really brought to you because of this guy. And uh, yeah, this is new to my channel. He loves being on camera. This guy's name's Nick. Uh, you want to say anything about yourself or anything? Nope. <laughs> He's being modest. He's won drag week and stuff. And I brought up the idea of doing a uh, big block dyno mule, which I plan to do. And he's like, you know, I've got a couple engines. Why don't we try them? And he's actually got most of this stuff back here. So uh, um, because of him, this is happening. So tell them about the engine that we're testing on. It's a 496. It's a four bolt main. It's a Gen 5. Uh, board 60 over. It's got a uh, scat crank, scat rods. It's all forged steel. And then the uh, pistons are uh, Mall Power Packs, 18cc domes. Uh, you got the lightweight rings. That's that's basically the gist of it. He left off. It's a hydraulic roller. Do you, you want to tell the specs on that? No, I don't know them off the top of my head. They're, <laughs> they're 243 on the intake. Uh, 50 thousandths and it's about 630 lift on the intake and 635 on the exhaust those are the basic outline of what it is and it's about 10.2 compression ratio but it really depends on the heads so we're testing not only several different heads and there's some that are actually missing here because I was weighted, afraid of the weight on my trusty tool bench here but uh, let me tell you about the heads will be tested and because of the different chamber size the compression ratio will be different so we got the Brodix Race Right 270s, and these are cut down to 115 cc's, and they're absolutely stock. Now they've been ran before, but they're fine. Behind that, they Pro do Mac, have a spring upgrade. Oh yeah, they've he does got, have a spring upgrade. They've got the 933 comp springs. Yeah, and I should also mention that we're running a, even though it's a hydraulic roller cam, we're running a solid roller lifter on it just to help with valve flow, and we're gonna lash them like at six just to be safe. But it's got a hydraulic roller spring, so you you could run a hydraulic true hydraulic roller lifter on it, but just not in this case. Um, the other head, these two heads are from Promax. I have to say, I want to be up front with this. Promax actually donated these. The two, they are the 290 um, oval ports, although they're oval, and they're 317s. And I want you to understand this, that even though we're doing all this dyno test, they didn't ask for any of this favoritism or anything else. I just asked, hey, would you mind, you want to donate some heads and see how they do? And they said, sure. They didn't ask, make us look good. They didn't do any of the things like that. But I just want to be up front with that, that we did get those, the only ones that we got for free from anybody. Beyond, so we got the 290s, which have 110 cc chambers, so they actually have the highest compression ratio. Those would be like 10.98. Then we got the 317s, which are probably the lowest compression ratio because they have a 119 cc chamber, um, but they are the highest flowing heads of all the ones we have here. And then this is the AFR 265, and it's 113 cc's. It's got the finer finish on the chambers. Um, other than that, those are stock. And then Good old Nick buddy here, this is down here on the floor. He did some work on some 049s. Uh, do you want to tell him anything you did to these or done? It's just a pocket port and blended, you know, blended uh, above the valve seat. The gaskets are approximately matched, but I, I set a budget of time that I would spend on them. That, that head's just got an hour on it of basic work, and that's really all I can do to it. He put 11 32nd uh, valves in it, so it's smaller than the 3 8 They're 225 intake and 188 exhaust valves. All the heads were flowed. Um, now, there's something else that's not here because there's two other heads that we're testing that are also not here because they're on the motors. One being an AFR enforcer, uh, completely stock. It's got a, actually, that was probably going to have the lowest compression ratio, but I think their chamber's like 120 something. And the other one is a Brodix Race Right 294 rectangular port. Those are the only other heads we'll be testing. Um, we, I've flowed every single one of these. And also, you see on the ground here, it's all the manifolds. Because we're not just doing heads, we're doing manifolds because somehow we're gonna kill ourselves. Um, but there's a lot it's of manifolds to test. <laughs> it's, it is gonna be fun. Probably the most in-depth one we've ever done, I've ever done for sure. But you've got a Brodix uh, HB 2017. That's CNC port match too. By the way, probably the most expensive one here. Um, a 454.0, so it's a single plane oval port. Then we have the Edelbrock uh, Performer 2.0, that's oval port two. Underneath this other one's a Wyan Stealth oval port. And then we've got back here the RPM Air Gap oval port as well. And we've got a, um, a single plane that's on the engine right now that's a uh, 454R that's completely stock. And we've got a different one that's been kind of touched up and we'll, we'll uh, test that as well. So that's, uh, that's the gist of it. 
More details will be in later videos because make this video extremely long, but we'll have all the flow numbers and everything else about it. We'll be on the dyno tomorrow and hopefully everything goes well. As far as carburation goes, we've got a little, a little kind of wager which carburetor is better. I'm going to try my 1000 CFM Demon and he brought his Pro Systems. I think it's 950, is that right? No, it's 1000. 1000. So one of, whichever one's better is the one we're going to go from that point on on all the testing. The range we're going to run of is 3,500 to 6,500 RPM. Um, right now, we'll see when we get on there. It might be something different when we see the sweeps. But uh, Nick's going to make a prediction of what he thinks the best head is going to be <laughs> and also which one he thinks can make the most average power. And I'll tell you mine after his. Well, uh, yeah, predictions are a sure way to look foolish on, you know, on dyno testing. But, yeah, I think the Pro Max 290 will make barely more horsepower than the AFR 265. Um, I know you don't believe this, but I think the 049 is on the low end of the tack, like below 5,000, it's gonna compete with all of them. But that's just my experience, I don't know. I, I'm not a flow testing, uh, but go ahead. <laughs> he, he's, he's been very modest, he actually dynos quite a bit. So no, he doesn't do all of his flow bit testing, but he does dyno a lot of these combinations, so he has a lot of experience with that. Um, me, uh, this is my guess, because I like looking like a fool, I mean, People watch me for that. But um, I think these these 049s are probably gonna be the worst. And it's gonna be, there's no spot I think that it'll ever be better than anything at rest. But maybe he'll get proved me wrong, but I just don't see it. I think the 290 Pro Max is gonna win. And not because they gave me the heads for free. You've got, if you look at the flow, um, strictly flow numbers, the best one's a 317, but the next best one's 290s. Well, I should say the 335 Enforcers, but eh. And then you got the, well, the 317s are better than the Enforcers, than the 290s. I think the 290s will be, since their flow is so kind of close, they also have the smallest chambers with the highest compression ratio. I think that's going to be the winner. Um, I, I, I just can't see anything else even coming close. I bet it has the best average and everything else. And not because Promax is telling me to say that. I got a hunch. Of course, I like looking like a moron. I'm going to find out in a few days. This is going to be a lot of work. But uh, there you go. So, uh, Stay tuned, we'll give you updates when we can. And he'll have, do you want to tell him your YouTube channel? Cause he's trying to get more people to no. subscribe. Well, I've just got a little channel. I put some stuff up that's DZ performance. I do some dyno testing and I take the, the camera along on drag week and car cruises and stuff. But um, yeah. <laughs> you should look into it. He does have a, quite a bit of, if you're in a big block stuff, he definitely has more of the dyno stuff on that. So without this, obviously it wouldn't happen. So give his uh, channel a ring. But uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. So anyway, you guys take care.